Good evening, everybody. Welcome. This is Paul Flynn of Megata Radio. This is for the 27th of September, 2014. I just wanted to do a quick vlog on news today that a group in Dublin, about 2,500 people, marched calling for the Irish government to repeal the Eighth Amendment to the Constitution. You know, the Eighth Amendment to the Constitution in Ireland is dealing with abortion, giving, um, according to the news reports, equal rights, quote-unquote, to both the the child and the baby. And this story, I remember I was in a shop earlier on today, and I overheard it on the radio, and some of the comments by some of the people protesting was astonishing. And it brought to mind Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20 and 21, which says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, and put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Now I'm just going to play some of the the clip from, this is from RT News, this is the terrestrial news channel in Ireland, and it shows the absolute hatred of God that goes on in these groups. Abortion needs to be called what it is by any God-fearing person. It is the murder of the unborn. It is, I mean, what is the difference between killing somebody in the womb and killing somebody outside of the womb? They call it abortion. And apparently, it is the right of all women to do whatever they want with their own body. The problem is that baby in that womb is not your body. It is someone else's. You see, now, they often bring up these cases of people who are suicidal, women have been raped, and obviously it is horrendous when somebody has been raped or somebody has gone through something such as that. I definitely do not think it's because someone's suicidal. It means, oh, I can murder my child. What if you've got a five-year-old child in your home? And what if somebody comes up with a case in a number of years and says, well, this five-year-old is making me suicidal. Can I kill him? If people do not want their child, for example, and as that is a horrendous thing, they, rather than murdering the child... Why not give them up for adoption? To, so, to people, there's so many people out there who want to adopt children, but they want to go to this whole, let's kill the child. And they call it abortion, etc. Let's call it murder. Let's call it what it truly is. The Bible says, thou shalt not kill. And we will be held as a nation, as all the nations will be held accountable, and will be judged for whether we keep the law of God or not. One of the few good things in Ireland, and I live in, I live in Dublin, one of the few good things in Ireland is that they have outlawed, and it is against the law. Now, there's been some legal challenges, and there's been some little bits of loopholes been created here and there. But, historically, Ireland has not allowed abortion. Now, there's, this, there's a hunger for change, apparently. And who determines whether a child lives or die, public opinion. Not man, not the fact that man was created in the image of God. And you see, this is, this is absolutely, and it, it is satanic because God is, man is created in the image of God. And it's a holocaust of unborn children based upon, oh, women have the right to do whatever they want. No, you do not. You do not, no one has the right to murder anyone, be it your child or someone you see on the street. Let's play some of this clip from uh, RT News. March in a march in Dublin today calling for the Eighth Amendment of the Constitution to be repealed. The amendment gives equal rights to the right, right to life of the mother and the life of the unborn. The government has said that the matter would not be revisited in the lifetime of this coalition. We want choice! They took to the streets of Dublin today, men and women, representatives from the Women's Council, unions and migrant groups, all joined the march organised by the Abortion Rights Campaign, 
all calling for the Eighth Amendment of the Constitution. Imagine if you retitle that, and it's all this, how you title things. Pro-choice. Oh, choice. That's I like that. Um, abortion. It sounds like a, a procedure. Murder rights. That's what they want. It's murder rights. The right to murder someone's own child. And this is the sign of a, of a perpetually sick society that will allow this to happen. What are they calling for? When someone is feeling sad or someone, for whatever other reason, that murder is acceptable in certain circumstances. It is murder. Thou shalt not kill. I don't even like going to like, oh, you have a right to life and all that. No, no. You, if you shed man's blood, that is against God's law. That's enough. And it says, this is why there should be still the death penalty if you look at Romans 9, 6. But it is, and as you see the hatred for any of God's law increase in a nation, Brethren across the globe, whoever's listening to this, please pray for Ireland and anywhere else that's passing these laws because this is, you could say, increasing. And there's a vehement hatred for anything that is in any way biblical. ...to be repealed. There's not just an appetite for change, there is a hunger for change and there is a demand for choice. If people have money, they can hop on a plane or go on a boat. But it's those that ha haven't got money that are stuck and that have to put up with this appalling mess. But not. Oh, isn't it horrible? Because, see, in unfortunately in England, um, where abortion is unfortunately legal, and shame on them for allowing that to happen. So, because they're allowing, oh, oh the poor people who can't afford to go and operate and have their child aborted or murdered safely. Oh no, isn't it just terrible? I mean, I mean, because England are doing it, we should have to do it as well. I mean, if this does not create a well of anger in you, there's something severely wrong in your soul. It talks about in the Bible, in Romans chapter 1, and Roman, in the second half of Romans chapter 1 talks about the judgment of God. People have been given over to that which is not natural. And it talks about people who are without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection. And natural affection is something that should occur for a child, and natural affection, especially a mother and a Daughter, mother, and a son, father, and a son, natural affection. But this has been this is the judgment of God. Read the, the second half of Romans chapter one. Implacable, unmerciful. I mean, if someone rapes someone and is a rape victim, the only person who should be killed in such a situation is not the child who never did anything isn't guilty of of raping the person and, and that's the person who's given the severest charge and our lenient rape laws are horrendous and they only leave people out after a number of years based on the appalling research of Alfred Kinsey who whose research has unfortunately led a lot to the abortion rights movement well, be that as it may but it is the judgment of God upon the society and it and more and more nations are spiraling out of control. Now, I don't want to say all things are hopeless. God is completely sovereign over everything, and he will use these things for his glory. But let us pray in our day that many of these souls who are unfortunately crying out for the right for a mother to kill and, for, and to give her consent to a doctor of death to kill a child. 
not all agree with them. I don't think that there should be any repeal of the Eighth Amendment. To do that would be to remove all legal protection for the unborn in Ireland, and there's certainly no evidence that that is something that the public want. As it doesn't matter if it's what the public want. What matters is what does God's law say. If it is abomination before the eyes of God, it doesn't matter how popular it is. If 90% of the people in this country think that to murder a child is right, it does not make it right. In the same way when most of Germany during the Second World War supported the Holocaust, and then it didn't make that right. And then there's a Holocaust going on in several nations across the world of countless children being murdered, and their blood is on the hands of the nation and all those who support it. The spokesperson for the government said they had been through an extensive and open process in relation to the protection of life during pregnancy bill. A matter they said that had not been dealt with by successive governments, but they said this matter would not be revisited during the lifetime of this government. The lifetime of this government is at least another year, year and a half, and they're happy to send 12 women a day to the UK and further afield. No one should be happy to send anyone to anywhere at any time to have their child murdered. See, we're looking at this in completely the wrong way. We have laws, at least we still have laws, that say if you kill somebody in their 20s, you rightly should go to prison. And, well, according to Genesis 9-6, the, the death penalty, the Romans 13, the state wields the sword. It doesn't matter where... It is wrong, and this is such a grievous sacrifice of our children and the next generation because, yeah, there's going to be tragic cases of people who've been, especially people who are raped, or, and then there's people who are suicidal for various reasons. It doesn't make it right. Someone else doing something horrendous. Punish the rapist. Punish whoever's responsible for that, but do not abort a child in order to... How is that going to do anything? I mean, I know when people try to give these arguments for the psychology and the psychological welfare and well-being of the mother, that she should keep her baby, she shouldn't kill her baby because it is wrong and man has been created in the image of God. And for no other reason, it is wrong. We should appeal as Christians to the law of God. Thou shalt not kill. And regardless of where it is, it is wrong. And should come with the severest sanctions and punishments from the state. But instead... It has been pandered to. It doesn't matter how much public support it has. It is an abomination. It's not good enough. They're going to have to repeal the Eighth Amendment. Socialist Party TD Ruth Coppinger has introduced a private member's bill calling for a referendum to repeal the Eighth Amendment. No date has been set yet as to when it will be debated. Helen Donoghue, RTE News. And the question lies with us especially those who know God's word. And look, there are people who are against abortion who are not born-again, regenerated Christians. But the silence often of... The, there's various groups that are in and, in and around the, the abortion issue, Christian groups. Number one, do not join up with Roman Catholic groups. Because that will foster an ecumenical spirit because they preach a false gospel. And Rome is duplicitous in so many crimes that it is not anyone to join hands with. We do recognize there are sincere people who are against abortion. But we, we don't want to make this an issue of just social activism, social justice, etc. and so on. 
This is a spiritual issue. This is rebellion and war on God. It has to be recognized this way because the law of God says, thou shall not kill. John Calvin, when writing on Exodus 21, Exodus 21 verses 22 to 25, writes, the fetus, though enclosed in the womb of its mother, is already a human being. And it is almost a monstrous, monstrous crime to rob it of life which it has not yet begun to enjoy. It seems horrible to kill a man in his own house. It seems, sorry, it seems horrible to kill a man in his own house than in a field because a man's house is his place of most secure refuge. It ought surely to be deemed more atrocious to destroy a fetus in the womb before it has come to life. We have to realize, brethren, as Calvin points out here, how monstrous and atrocious this crime is. I would argue to you, this is much worse than the killing of an adult. Why? Because you have killed this baby, this child, in place of refuge. Often today, one of the most dangerous places is the mother's womb. What a tragic day we live in when such abominable acts are acceptable. Regardless of the pop, what the people think, God's law never changes. Abortion is murder. May God bless you all. Talk to you soon.